Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a simple one. I'm going to be clearing out my wardrobe. I am sick of how rammed it is at the moment. I'm really uninspired by it, so I thought it'd be a good idea to just go through my wardrobe, try everything on, and just really get rid of a lot of it. Let me show you what we're working with. This is the wardrobe. I'm sure that there are other people that have probably got a hell of a lot more clothes than I do, which is fine, each to their own. This is what I'm working with and it drives me insane. I do also have that drawer which is like underwear and socks and the bottom drawer which is kind of like mine and Kai's mixed together, but it's more like loungy sort of stuff, bit of gym wear, um, my pyjama tops and stuff like that. So that's my section and that's what I want to sort of sort through today. So what we're going to start with is doing uh, Mary Kondo style and just getting rid of everything in the wardrobe and just taking it out and then we're gonna put it into sections so like jeans tops all that sort of stuff I think then I'm gonna organize it into sections so that I can see exactly how much I have of certain things and I have been making like a mental note of certain things that I'm missing from my wardrobe um, most of that being like a lot of my basic sort of range has sort of gone out the window because I have been doing a lot of clear outs and some of my basic t-shirts and stuff have just kind of gone a bit, you know, and they just go a bit rubbish and you just need to get new ones and I just haven't actually got new ones. So um, there's that. So I do have sort of like a list of things that I am missing from my wardrobe that I'm going to be looking into. Uh, so let's just get started with clearing out. What a out my part of the wardrobe and this is what we're working with so I've got at the back just here I've got two skirts so denim one and one of these like pleated floaty ones then this here is my pile of denim then we've got shirts t-shirts uh, camis and sort of like body stuff dress and then that's like jackets and jumpers and stuff just there so, my tops, I need to go through my tops because I'm not 100% happy with them to be fair. And I think it'd be just, yeah, good to maybe try everything on, see what I'm still liking um, and start making those piles of keeps and get rid of. And when I say get rid of, I will be... Um, seeing if any of my family members would like any of the pieces and if they do like it that's fine then they can take it any pieces that don't get taken will then get donated to charity okay so i'm just trying on some of the jeans that i've kept because obviously you guys know like i work at levi's so i get jeans pretty much a lot so i do have a lot of jeans and I used to literally like live in these and loved them so much. They're absolutely huge on me now because I've stretched them out and um, they're like 100% cotton. So I had to get them in a bigger size that didn't fit my waist. But now they've stretched out more and they're just really big on my waist. So I've always had to wear them with a belt. Uh, these are the wedgie jeans and they, they are really comfortable and I've always really liked them. But... My new favourite now are the ribcage jeans because they are like everything. They sit really high up and they're just ridiculously comfortable. And they're a lot wider at the bottom as well, which I kind of dig. Like, I mean, I like these, but this particular pair is just a bit too big. I might see if my mum wants them because they might fit her a bit better. But yeah, so I think I'm going to... I mean, I really, I did really like them, but I just, I'm not reaching for them anymore. I'm always reaching for my ribcage jeans, so... I just don't think it's worth 
keeping them in the wardrobe for that sake, especially when they're that big on my waist. And like, I wear my rib cage jeans without a belt, and even though they're a little bit big on my waist as well, they're not as bad. So, and I, I'm, yeah, no, I think I'll just give these to my mum to see if she likes them. These are also the wedgie straight jeans in a lighter shade. You can tell that these are a bit tighter. I've not really worn these that much. They are in a smaller size as well than the other ones. Um, but yeah, you can see there, it's still a little bit bigger for me on my waist, but nothing in comparison to the previous pair. Um, I'll probably keep these ones still because they are a really light, nice light color and I can just get some wear out of them for the spring sort of summer coming up now. Um, they are quite tight. Ugh, I really need to wear these in. Right, so I've sorted through most of the wardrobe now. Um, I'm gonna show you the sort of sections that I've done at the moment. Uh, I've definitely made a mental note of some of the things that I'm missing and that I'd like to add to my wardrobe. So I might do like a video on that and do sort of almost like a come online shopping with me and then sort of show you what I got and um, go through the process of that because I'm definitely looking for some more pieces in my wardrobe but I'm trying to sort of invest more and I definitely think that a lot of it's in my wardrobe at the moment still will probably be replaced when I find like the ultimate thing that I'm looking for if that makes sense so they're still like in there because they're kind of like mm, they'll do for now um so we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll have to see. Let me just show you what I've got so far. So here's where we are, we are at so far. So this little bit here is like dresses. So I've got a denim dress, shirt dress, and then I've decided that I'm gonna tr keep that t-shirt dress. Then I've got two trousers here. I've got those denim wedgie jack trousers that I was showing you. And then these are um, a pair of Tommy Hilfiger trousers that I bought from the charity shop and altered so that was a recent purchase so I, I love them this thing and then i've got a skirt that's the pleated skirt and then i've got a couple of shirts t-shirts all that sort of stuff and then from there on is workwear so that's all of my uniform and stuff like that so that's that and then i've got here these jeans i bought in a rummage sale at work the fit is horrific because they're like a sample so i was wearing them with like long shirts and stuff but that looks just not that great and i don't wear it all the time so i can't justify keeping those pair of jeans in my wardrobe for that so i'm going to take them downstairs and i'm just going to use the denim um in other projects and stuff whenever I need to do any repairs or anything like that. The t-shirt I've already spoken about, I want to sort of alter. This little pile here is stuff that I'm probably going to be getting rid of. Um, I just don't wear it. I think they were just really bad either purchases, like last minute purchases, or they're from my uniform and I just didn't really think it through. Uh, and then I've got one pair of jeans that I'm going to give to my mum and see if she wants. And I just need to go through this little jackets and jumpers collection. Going into the jacket segment of this video. So this is a little pink denim jacket that I got from Topshop. I bought this as a last minute purchase, I'll be honest. Um, but I kind of like it still. I mean, yeah, no, I still kind of like it. I can still use this. So I'll probably keep this one. This is the next jacket. This is the first ever denim jacket that I got from Levi's when I started working there. This is the ex-boyfriend fit, so it's a bit more sort of oversized and stuff. Um, I've got my little badges on there. So I've got my little Bobby Abley one, my Levi's Pride one, and this one just says, oh hi, it's from Levi's. Uh, I've got some patches on the back of this one as well. Oh, that's not the right side. Let me see if I can do this. There we go. So I've got some patches on this one. It just says like denim cartel, bitter, sounds like shit to me, a little tongue, little avocado man, and a little burger. Um, I'm still gonna keep this one, I think, because I get a lot of wear out of this one. I like wearing this one underneath a hoodie. Um, what? That doesn't make sense. 
I like wearing this on top of a hoodie. Um, it's just a really nice fit for that sort of look that's just a bit more relaxed and slouchy. And you can never go wrong with a little denim jacket. So this is the finished wardrobe now. I've got my denim jackets there and then it goes into dresses, trousers, skirt, jumpers and cardies into shirts, into tops, into like blousies sort of stuff, and then into workwear. So you can see from this um, gray jumper here on, that's all workwear, like uniform. Uh, so that's quite a lot of my wardrobe actually. So if you kind of just like ignore all of that, that's what I'm left with. That's all going. That's all being like altered slash used. So the denim I'm gonna just use for, for future products. Uh, products, what the fuck? Uh, the denim I'm going to use for future projects. This jumper I got on Uniform, really love it. It's supposed to be a cropped one, but it's not cropped enough for me. Uh, so I'm just going to take it up a bit more so it's cropped at my waist. And then I'm keeping that. And then the t-shirt I've already spoken about, so I'm not going to go through that again. And that's pretty much everything. Yeah, so that's pretty much everything. So I'm going to end the video here. Um, I have made a list on my phone of things that I feel are missing in my wardrobe so it's probably gonna oh well so it's probably gonna keep changing and stuff and once I start getting more pieces that I really love um, I'll probably be getting rid of those pieces that I'm kind of just like having in my wardrobe as like a filler if that makes sense um, but let me know if you enjoyed this video and maybe leave some comments down below on the way that you organize your wardrobe and stuff and um, yeah, I'll see you next week with another video. Thanks. Bye.